My name is Dr. Arnold J. Fischler. I'm a clinical director here at National Dental. I went to Tufts University School of Dental Medicine. I've been doing dentistry for 35 years and enjoying every moment of it. I'm uh, Dr. Nargis Schmidt. I'm a prosthodontist and I work for National Dental in uh, Manhattan office on uh, 110 East 40th Street. My name is Han Kyu Cho. I'm a board certified periodontist. I take care of all the surgeries at this location. I'm a specialized surgeon in doing implant dentistry. We have a great team of doctors with a lot of experience. We've done hundreds of arches. Our doctors are so dedicated to this. They enjoy doing what they do so much. The best part of my job is like when they finally smile, even in the temporary stages sometimes. They said, oh my God, this is wonderful. I can smile now and I can do things. Because smile is important as a smile itself from the health perspective, but also it's important from the perspective of what people associate with that smile. I've had patients so we had plastic surgery and then we did the smile and I said I should have started with that because that changed my face more than anything else. So that's the best part of my job because I see I'm like a magician in a way. I can see that transformation and sometimes I see it way before a patient sees that and we're all waiting for that twinkle in the eye when they find, finally look in the mirror and they smile. Um, I think most important trait to have as a surgeon is to be very attentive to every detail, focus on the long term, focus on the longevity of the surgery because we're doing the surgery to have the implant or any type of surgery to last for 10-20 years, not just to do the surgery. My name is Dr. Pankaj Singh. I'm the Chief Medical Clinical Director at National Dental. And you always have to approach patient care from that standpoint. And they're scared. Nobody likes a dentist. Actually, it's the, one of the least um, liked um, professions to visit. Um, but it's also one of the most rewarding professions to practice. Uh, I can tell you that firsthand. It's brought me so much personal joy, professional um, gratification. Um, having taken care of thousands of patients, um, it's just one of the greatest honors that, that can be bestowed on a person, uh, the, the privilege of taking care of another person, you know, and that's how I approach it. That's how I approach every single new patient that walks into the practice. I think just creating an environment of caring kind of puts them at ease. And of course, you know, the bedside manner. You can't overlook the bedside manner of a doctor. Um, the more sure a doctor is of their capabilities, I think that just transfers to how they speak with their patient. And the more they care about a person, um, in humanity, period. It doesn't have to be that particular person, but if they really care about humanity, it just comes out naturally. Number one priority is to address patient's main problem. We have a board certified periodontist here. We have an orthodontist here. We do offer a wide range of dental treatments and that is all done in one location. Dr. Vahida Pekshi, um, clinical director, partner of National Dental uh, East Meadow. Um, I'm Dr. Tiffany Kinkleski. I am a general dentist at National Dental in Williston Park. So the best part about my profession is uh, very simply and easily helping people who have a lot of concerns, whether it's pain or whether it's dental issues which were never addressed in the past or which were never addressed properly in the past, whether it's a, a crown that doesn't look good or whether it's a it's a, basically a, a toothache. Um, I, I find it so easy, rewarding, um, where, I can, where I can basically take that negative situation for a patient and turn it such a, into a positive where the patient is easily um, taken care of or when a patient has pain, for me to easily take them out of pain. That is, that is the most rewarding thing for me. The goal is to make them feel comfortable, to make them feel at home. Uh, if you can take that journey with that patient from being nervous from when they walk in to leaving smiling and happy and, and loving the way they look, by the end of it, uh, you're, you're hugging, you're happy, you're introducing to their kids, their, their significant others. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling and that's really why um, I got into this business uh, to begin with is to help people and to really change their lives um, the best way that we can. So we don't have co-workers, we have team. We don't have staff. Staff is an infection, an infection you don't ever want to get because it's one of the hardest infections to treat, right? Mm -hmm. We elevate our team members to a very different status. You know, our front desk, what's a front desk? Front desk is a piece of furniture. That's front desk. It's a piece of furniture. In my world, that person is a patient concierge. 
because they make sure that the patient's taken care of, whatever the patient needs. They coordinate that patient's entire activity from getting to the office, uh, to, the, to the practice, to leaving the practice, um, navigating the area to get to the practice, uh, anything they need and coordinating their care. So that's it. We don't have office managers because we don't manage anything. You know, they're coordinators. They actually help coordinate and facilitate patient care. I am so blessed to have one of the best team members. I mean, I have an amazing team of doctors that I work with. I mean, Dr. Cho, Dr. Fischler, Dr. Pecci, Dr. Konkluski. You know, um, I can go down the list of all the doctors I work with. They were handpicked, by the way. Best of the best. I mean, their heart's in the right place. They have great skills, amazing bedside manner. You couldn't have found a better group of practitioners to call your teammates. Um, and when it comes to office mates uh, who are taking care of the non-clinical end of the practice, they're some of the most caring people. I mean, they are so dedicated and devoted to our practice and to the welfare of our patients. It's remarkable. It's truly remarkable. It makes us so proud to actually walk into the practice and, and take care of our patients. My name is Eugene Nodell. I mean, it wasn't until you know, I was in my mid-30s when I developed like one bad tooth. It, was, it started to get loose and just so happened that the timing was I was gonna have uh, surgery and I had my appendix out. So before that, I had to have uh, that tooth stabilized. So they basically glued it to the adjacent tooth and I so it actually weakened the tooth that it was glued to. At that time, I had a dentist pull those teeth and make me a ceramic piece to fit in, to fill it out. And then from there, over the years, maybe, you know, uh, it would be another bad tooth or kind of like a domino effect. Teeth started falling out and getting bad to the point where I was suffering a lot of, uh, you know, tooth pain, head pain. It affects my eating because the food doesn't taste as good with a piece of plastic in your mouth. You know, it shuts off your, the roof of your mouth and you can't taste. Not being able to smile kind of takes away your confidence, like when you go to a job interview or if you're uh, socializing with new, you know, people and make, trying to make new friends. Uh, you, you tend to kind of want to close your mouth and hide the teeth and people kind of see that as you're not being friendly or you're not outgoing and the reality is I'm very friendly, very outgoing, but you can't really tell that because I'm not really smiling the way I, I would normally smile. I searched online and I looked up National Dental and decided to give them a call, come down for their free consultation. I was very impressed with Dr. Fischler. He seemed genuinely concerned and he seemed to understand why people want t new teeth. It seems like his goal is to to give you that back, to give you your beautiful smile that you used to have back to you. He knows what he's talking about. He, he explained the materials and the latest technology that they use, and they use the best surgeons, and I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with that. Getting new permanent implants will increase my confidence as whether I go to a job interview or if I'm eating normal food again, I'm socializing, um, I can smile and not worry about my teeth falling out. So Mr. Nodell came to us and he was wearing a full upper denture, but he wasn't really wearing his full upper denture because he hated wearing his full upper denture. He also had some problems with his lower teeth. He was missing a lot of his back teeth. He had periodontal disease and he had a lot of bone loss. So we decided after taking a scan and examining him and diagnosing that we would do both upper and lower cases. And on the day of surgery, he came in, we removed his remaining teeth. We were able to place implants in both arches and then we were able to send him home with some beautiful fixed screw retained teeth. He came back a few days later. He was feeling great. He was happy, he was smiling. And these type of procedures are always life-changing procedures because now he's feeling good about himself. Uh, he goes out, he's able to eat, he's able to chew and he's just a new person. National Dental, from beginning to end, has treated me very well throughout the whole experience. They're all very polite, they're all friendly, polite, very uh, accommodating, uh, they keep you comfortable, they don't let you wait too long. Fischler and his team was uh, fantastic. It was a great team, very cooperative, very polite. You know, they treated me well the whole time I was there. Well, it's changed my life in a positive way. I can get out, socialize more, enjoy uh, the time with my friends, go out to dinner and not be shy. I can smile again. 
definitely impacted my life in an extremely positive way. I would recommend it if they feel like they're a little shy about their smile because they have bad teeth or whatever, that I would recommend having the implants done. And I would recommend it to somebody who, who was going through the same experience as I did, that used to have a nice smile and kind of lost it from old age and you can, you can get it back. For me, getting my smile back, it was worth the money. And if anybody was thinking about buying a new car, going on a long, expensive vacation, they might want to reconsider and invest in themselves and make it it's worthwhile because of your confidence, you'll be able to smile again, chew food normally again. It's well worth the investment, invest in yourself. In 2012, when I went to my regular dentist, um, I had um, like gingivitis and loose teeth, and so that's when um, they said I needed to have to removed and have partials. But um, having the partials and, and stuff was um, kind of after a while, it was kind of annoying. I couldn't really speak properly and and so forth. So. I started doing research about actual dental implants. I'm a diabetic and I had a heart surgery also and I had poor dental hygiene of course growing up and I didn't take care. I had some partials done in the mid 80s, 90s and they fell out. I had just like three teeth left. No, I just didn't particularly care for them. They were damaged a little bit here and there. Uh, especially during football games I got a few of them broken. And I wanted to get it fixed. Because I need to do something for me, you know. And from doing the research and listening to people and, and what they said about it, I just felt that, yeah, this is what I, I want. Because no matter what, with the partials, it, eventually I'm going to be, I'm going to lose more teeth and so forth. So I might as well just go ahead and just do it one time. 2015, I stopped working, retired, spoke to my wife and said, listen, I need to get my, my teeth done. You know, it's about time. I was having problems over chewing my food and, and my, my stomach problems because I wasn't chewing properly. But the, basically, the main thing that, that made me come is that I just didn't like the way it looked. It's just that one of them became inflamed and I couldn't get rid of the inflammation. And I said, that's enough, uh, you know. My friend told me about it about the office, about how it is. It's clean, professional. They don't make you wait. I hate to wait. Very happy. I am happy with the doctor. That's the most important. Professional, on time. He knows what I'm looking for. Took care of me fine. I think they did a very good job. It was trying, but they were very nice. Dr. Cho was really, really, really nice. And yeah. It's good. I don't even put my hand over my mouth like I used to when I laughed. I don't even do that anymore. And it's been really a great experience. And I would always I'd advise if anyone talks about it or asks me anything, I would say go ahead and do it. But it was great. Uh, Dr. Cho was excellent. And Dr. Fishler afterwards was primo. Can't, can't complain. I mean, I, I, feel, I feel really good. I really noticed it afterwards that people look directly at your mouth first, you know, and you could see that, you know, they, they, I know some people that know me before and they, they, they said afterwards that, Frank, you look great. I mean, you, you, they were really happy for me because they said, man, you look great. You know, I, yes, I, I, I definitely would recommend this to other people, no problem. I, I, I had, uh, I put, sent two people here, two persons, and for referrals and they, they, they were happy with the work they got. We offer everything and I'm extremely proud uh, that we do so. We have everything from implants uh, to fillings to treating little kids to grandma and grandpa. We can give the patients anything they need and we can give them a variety of options all in one roof. Cleanings and fillings to a full mouth rehab. Also we do cosmetic procedures like veneers, laminates, Invisalign whatever patient needs, it's all done in one location. We've actually streamlined the process of dental implants. 
where patients who, who thought they were not a candidate for implants or who, who thought they couldn't afford dental implants. We have a lot of options to offer where patients who weren't a candidate can be candidate now. Patients who thought they couldn't afford because of you know, the figures or, or the financial cost of implants, patients can now actually pretty easily afford dental implants. Our practice is a comprehensive practice. There isn't a single thing that's referred to have. Whatever's in the best interest of the patient, wherever we can best treat that patient in the most safest uh, and predictable manner, that's what we do. Well, we have all the technology that's available to dentists today. We have our 3D comb beam machine that gives us exact duplication of the anatomy of the patient. We also have intraoral scanners, which can scan inside the mouth. We also have facial scanners that gives us great duplication of the patient's facial features. Now, we have been able to develop an amazing digital workflow so that we can merge all of that information together to create a beautiful restoration. Our doctors are so highly trained that we've created this smooth workflow that creates such a great experience and product for the patients. We've really come leaps and bounds with the technology that we have in dentistry. Uh, it gives us so much more ability to do things uh, properly, to do things uh, more conveniently for the patient. Uh, things are more accurate and it just, it's really turned the whole game around. To be able to have a 3D scan where you can plot exactly where you want to put your implant before you even touch the patient is really fantastic. Everything becomes very routine and straightforward and uh, it gives us the ability to, to give our patients the best care. We invest an additional $2 million of our own money in making the best lab anywhere. We've invested so much money into technology because what it does it do? What does technology enable us to do? Deliver predictable quality care. We were great surgeons without technology. We're even better surgeons with technology. And technology is not in place of good surgical skill. You know, it's like a race car. If you give someone a race car who's not a trained race car driver, they'll crash it very quickly. The same thing happens with dental technology. It's a tool that allows a well-trained dentist to deliver predictable care. That's the unfair advantage. And we have that. My name is Jose Sanchez. As a kid, I was afraid of going to the dentist, you know, fear of needles. So therefore, I, I didn't really take care of my teeth that much. As I got older, when I really needed to get implants, I went and I got the implants. But then later on to find out that the implants wasn't as good as they said they were, it didn't help me as far as with confidence and smiling. So therefore, I decided to give it one more shot and try National Dental. I was tired of the dentures that I have, and I wasn't too confident with them. When I had the consultation with the doctor, he assured me as far as he showing me the procedures they was gonna do and what they were using. It was so modern that I wanted to try that. The confidence wasn't there, trying to smile, you know, not wanting to smile, not having to open my mouth much so people could see my teeth. So I decided to try National Dental to see what they can do as far as giving me a perfect smile. Mr. Sanchez came to me with the complaint that his upper bridge that he's been wearing for a few years is loose. Mr. Sanchez is a very stylish guy. Uh, when he came in, he's always dressed to the nines and everything is matching. So I knew that his smile was important to him. When we examined him and did some scans and diagnostics on him, we were able to tell him that we were able to give him a fixed screw retained bridge for the top so that he didn't have to wear anything removable. On the day of surgery, when he came in, uh, we removed his remaining teeth on his upper arch. We were able to place six implants into his upper arch. And then we were able to deliver to him a fixed temporary bridge that got screwed into his mouth. So he left here with a great smile. Now we would have to wait about three months for the bone to grow around those implants so that they'd be nice and strong. And at that time, we're making his final zirconia bridge and that will be what he would use going forward.
My favorite Dr. Fishner and his team was excellent. The staff was very knowledgeable and he himself knew exactly the procedure was going to be done and he assured me that everything was going to be fine. This procedure has changed my life. He's given me more confidence. I'm able to smile more in public. I'm able to do things that I didn't do before. Confidence has increased. He wanted to shelter the whole smile. He wasn't very like happy, I guess you could say. And then after when he got the implants done and like everything was basically finished off, he was very happy and like you see him smiling more, he laughs more and like he's very comfortable to just go outside. He's like, oh, I'm gonna go to the store. Like, what for? But like... So now he's not complaining anymore. He's able to go outdoors and the staff over there, I couldn't, you know, say anything bad. It were awesome. They gave you everything you needed to know through the procedures. So any questions you had, they answered it. They were very friendly. They made you feel very comfortable. We went in and out. It was a very fast procedure. I'm definitely happy with the overall outcome. I'm able to smile more. Practically could eat anything and not worry about my teeth falling out. I would definitely recommend the surgery to others. The whole top was all caps, and, uh, but they started falling out. Couldn't eat hard nuts. I couldn't eat uh, even steak. I had a gap in my teeth like Letterman or Strahan. I was 89 last year, and I didn't know whether it was an expensive proposition and whether it paid for me. You know, I don't expect to live for another 20 years uh, as a business decision, <laughs> whether I get my money's worth. But I decided that it was the right thing to do because otherwise uh, the, the situation I had before would continually go on. And uh, so I had it done. I was a little concerned about the, uh, you know, the removal of the teeth and, uh, and the length of time it would take. But I have to tell you, the surgeons that I had do it were uh, terrific. They did it very quickly. I had no pain. In fact, a lot of times they told me to go home and take a couple of Advil or Tylenol. And I was waiting for the pain to come, didn't happen. Well, the difference here is that Dr. Fischler has employees that have been with him. Some of them, he has a core of employees that have been with him for 20, 20 25 years or more. And uh, I know them all. And um, Diana has been cleaning my teeth for less. 15 years, as long as she's here, she took care of my wife when my wife was alive. And um, everybody is very friendly here. It's a one day procedure. The implants are working fine. Considering I'm 90 years old, it's not a bad deal. You know, I can eat everything I want. I don't have to take in and out plates and all that other stuff. So it was worth the investment. My experience with Dr. Fishner and his team was excellent. The staff and everybody worked hand in hand and everything was very smooth, no issues at all. Yes, I feel much more confident where I can smile in public without any hesitation. It makes me more confident. It changed my life in things I do. I don't have to worry about smiling or being afraid to smile. Everybody that has seen the procedure, they, they are very happy with it. They said that it looks great. That if they definitely want to have a better smile, that they should look into it, that it would help them with their confidence. Yes, definitely, I would recommend it. It's a, it's a wonderful procedure. I came to National Dental to have uh, my surgery, and I saw Dr. Cho. I needed to have the surgery because I had a lot of missing teeth, and I had dentures, removable dentures, and so they weren't fitting properly, and it was like very hard to chew. It was even hard to speak. I came here um, because my daughter was having some dental problems and they asked me if I could find a dentist. So I went to the internet and so I made an appointment and I came with her and I was very impressed with how they handled her situation. I said, well, I'd like to come for an appointment also. But I decided uh, since the opportunity presented itself, that I was just gonna go for it. And um, I felt confident with the doctors. I felt they knew what they were doing from moment one when we walked in the door. All very, very 
very helpful, very warm, very friendly. So I say to people that are, or to a person that's concerned about um, being uncomfortable and um, uh, not to worry. It's the way they do it here, very easy. Life is too short to live in fear. This fear, this phobia, this anxiety that you're experiencing is not rational. You need help. If you come to us, our first meeting is just a conversation. We're not going to do anything. We're going to talk. I'll find out why it happened. We'll find out what needs to be done. But, you know, a good percentage of people are surprised that it's not even that hard. You know, one visit and it's all done. You know, and uh, get it over with. And I tell them, cross that thing off your list. Patients who've been putting off dentistry for um, whatever reason, whether they're afraid of coming or whether they're afraid of the cost. National Dental, we've really made that a simple process where, first of all, if you are seeing me as, as a patient, um, we, we make sure you're comfortable from, from the minute you walk in. So that's number one. Second, a procedure that's somebody who has had a bad experience in the past, I almost assure my patients that that's not gonna happen when they're sitting with us. For us to basically get a patient out of pain, in some instances take as little as 10 minutes, and uh, almost always the patients, when they're finished, they're, they're, and this I hear almost, almost every single day is, that was it. Uh, so as far as a patient who's very anxious, um, they really have nothing to worry about when they come to us. Uh, misconceptions. They're, they've had bad experiences in the past, so they're, they're hesitant to move forward. And the one thing that we pride ourselves is that the joy that you can get when you take a patient that is scared and by the end of the appointment they're laughing, they're smiling, they're having fun. Uh, I've had people laughing while we're getting numb. I've had people fall asleep during root canals. Uh, it really, our goal is to change the way that people look at dentistry so that they can get the care they need uh, and they don't have to, it doesn't have to be a struggle. To those patients who say, I can't afford it, I think we have a big enough heart, come to our practice. We went into healthcare for one reason and one reason only, to make people healthier, to improve people's lives. That's my first priority. So to those patients who say, I can't afford it, that's okay. Come to us. We will take care of you. And if your dentist doesn't think that way, then they don't deserve you. Yes, I, I, I definitely would recommend this to other people, no problem. It was done well. I highly recommend it. And I highly recommend National Dental. I don't know if this could have been possible for me if I went somewhere else. I would recommend it if they feel like they're a little shy about their smile because they have bad teeth or whatever, that I would recommend having the implants done, but I would recommend it.